Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. Now in this video, uh, we're going to look at how to use the MetaMask browser extension to interact with the Binance smart chain. So um, probably most people are used to MetaMask. It is, uh, I think at the moment, the most common uh, browser uh, uh, wallet for interacting with Ethereum dApps. Um, so uh, recently they announced that over a million, uh, I think active users it was, um, I think they've had a couple of million installs. Um, and MetaMask is, is um, the first time you come to use it, is, is a bit complicated to get get around, to get your head around it, uh, especially if you've not done blockchain stuff before. But when you get to use it, it's just very simple. Is that you have it as a browser extension, um, and, and whenever you have your Chrome browser, um, you, you can you can use it, and you just have to use a password to um, to, to get in there. And most DApps, um, certainly on Ethereum, are set up to use MetaMask as one of their options, at least. So um, it kind of makes sense that the Binance Smart Chain. Um, Although there are many different wallets um, uh, you can you can use or different wallets you can use, um, it kind of makes sense that it is leveraging MetaMask because MetaMask um, is pretty popular. And the whole point, or one of the whole points of the Binance Smart Chain, is it is uh, compatible with Ethereum. So what we, it has what we call a EVM, um, the the Ethereum virtual machine, is basically just the way that code runs on Ethereum. And uh, the Binance Smart Chain also is what we call EVM compatible. So, so um, basically, any DApp that's running on Ethereum can also uh, be deployed on the Binance Smart Chain with a with a very um, kind of minor amount of change. And one nice thing about this is it means we can use MetaMask um, to interact with the Binance um, Smart Chain as well. So, so you're using the same um, wallet uh, that you're using for Ethereum. So. Um, as the Binance Smart Chain is kind of gaining a bit of more um, interest now, there's quite a lot of DeFi dApps launching on it. Um, there's more DeFi dApps on the Binance Smart Chain than actually any other chain at the moment, apart from Ethereum. Um, it's kind of worth um, doing this. So, so this is, um, you know, kind of, I guess, like a how-to video. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to assume you have a MetaMask wallet set up. Um, if you don't, um, there are some details uh, that you can look at online. So I'm just looking at this here. Um, you can see the URL docsbinance.org smart chain wallet MetaMask. Um, I'll put that in the in, in the in the notes, and this kind of just tells you how to set up a um, how to set up a MetaMask wallet in the first place, um, which I'm not going to go through. But what we're going to have a look at here, so is, this is um, add a new network. So when you when you create a MetaMask wallet because it's designed for Ethereum, you can it, it, the default option is Ethereum. So if I select my kind of MetaMask wallet up here. Um, we can see here at the top of the screen it says Ethereum mainnet. That is what is that is what it is um, going to be uh, connected to. But um, there are other options available. So if we look tick down here, there are some test networks. So these are Ethereum test networks. Um, so test networks just means you're testing that the that the thing works, but you're not using the full um, blockchain and not using um, you know tokens like ETH. Um, and we have here we can see um, smart chain. So this is what I've set up for. The Binance Smart Chain. So we click on this, and now um, it's the same wallet, the same wallet address, um, but now it is it is kind of you know set up for the Binance Smart Chain. And we can see here I've actually got some some Binance token in there, BNB, um, obviously a very tiny amount. Um, so how do we do that? So we can see here um, on on this guide um, that we have to actually when you set up a new um, let's go back when we set up a new uh, what we call a, a, a custom RPC. So when we set this up, we have to fill in some details. So actually manually fill in the details. We can see them here. We have to type in Binance Smart Chain. We have to, um, so there's an option of a test net here if you want to do some uh, testing <laughs> on the Binance Smart Chain. Some dApps are just working on the test net. Obviously you need a test net to t do testing, but the main net is here. Um, so if you're going to create um, a uh, A, the way for your for your MetaMask to interact with the Binance Smart Chain. This is what you have to um, add in. So you write in Binance Smart Chain. Um, you put in this. Uh, it's a URL. Um, so you click here to get the URL. You have to put in the chain ID. So in this case, we're doing uh, 56. The symbol BMB and the block explorer, um, which is there. Uh, 
blockchain a bsc scan so that's just, that's just the way you can you don't actually need the block explorer but it's a way if you want to automatically click through and check your um, transactions gone through that's how you do it um so so uh it's kind of um in, that that's really how how simple it is sort of thing it operates just like uh, metamask but you just instead of operating on the ethereum blockchain you're operating on the smart chain um the one thing you do have to be careful about though is is token so um, everything running on the Ethereum blockchain is an ERC20 token. Um, but um, the Binance um, <laughs> tokens has, has different standards. Um, so, so you can't just... Um, so, 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 so BNB is, a, is the Binance token. Um, and obviously, or not obviously, but um, it, it is not uh, Ethereum compatible. So you can't just get BNB uh, from your uh from any uh you know centralized or or, an, or any other um uh, kind of wallet or sorry any other exchange and just send this bnb to your smart chain address because this is a ethereum um uh wallet address um and uh bnb isn't accepted in that um so there is this complication where we have to um Look at some of the standards. So, so the standard that uh, this token standard that's running on the smart chain is called the BEP20 token standard. And all the tokens that are running on the Binance smart chain are um, kind of versions of ERC20 tokens. So they're basically versions of Ethereum uh, tokens. Um, so you have to be pretty careful about that, and you have to make sure you're sending the right um, uh, type of token to. The, uh, to this address. Um, so, so there is some complications there. So the best way I've found to get the right token into your MetaMask is um, actually to uh, download the Binance Chain Wallet extension um, also from the Chrome Web Store. Now that might seem like um, pretty pointless <laughs> because this is kind of like Binance's version of MetaMask. Um, but the reason that you might want to have both is if you're looking to um, interact with dApps on the Binance Smart Chain, they seem to, most of them that I've seen, or a lot of them that I've looked at, um, prefer you to use MetaMask. So the Binance Chain Wallet, although it is um, from Binance, um, doesn't appear to be that that well supported at the moment. Um, so, so if you are interested, um, you might want to be running both of them. Um, and the nice thing that the Binance Smart, the Binance Chain Wallet does is it allows you to kind of bridge between um, kind of the Binance, the different Binance token standards. Okay, so what do I mean by um, it allows you to kind of bridge the standards? So if I click on my Binance Chain um, Wallet here, this um, actually kind of allows you to. to by default, or, or you don't have to add anything in here. So, so this actually allows you to interact with um, DApps running on the Binance Chain Network, which is a um, the kind of the first uh, block decentralized blockchain that uh, Binance launched, which is not not very well used really, um, which is why they came up with the Binance Smart Chain. But because these are all done by Binance, they have this kind of um, kind of compatibility. So what you can do is you can send um, your your BNB token. So your Binance token, um, you can send that to your Binance Chain Network wallet. You can see what I've done here. Um, but then um, you can see you can see probably difficult to see here, but you can see this this address is a is a BNB is a Binance um, wallet address. So it starts BNB, and you can only send the BNB token to that wallet address. So when we switch to Binance Smart Chain Network, we can see a, that this has switched to a 0x9, um, well, that's what the start of the wallet is, and that's an Ethereum wallet address. So, so this allows us to bridge between the two. So what we can do is we can kind of copy that address, move back to Binance Chain Network, then we can send our BNB, our Binance Chain native token, and we can put the Ethereum address in there. And then it's, you notice this comes up, note cross-chain transfer to Binance Smart Chain. So this allows us to to take our BNB token, our standard BNB token, and I'm not going to do this, um, but basically what happens is it will automatically transfer 
um, this, this token across um, to the Binance smart chain network, even though this is running an Ethereum, Ethereum, basically an Ethereum address. If you try and send BNB um, to an Ethereum address, either if it does send it, you'll lose it, or mo with most um, wallets that I've looked at, they don't even allow you, allow you to send it because they know it's they know it's going to the wrong wallet. So that's a bit of a kind of a sort of a hassle kind of to do. Um, but uh, that seemed to me the easiest way to to kind of bridge these things over. Of course, once you've got this um, uh, bridged over into so so this to so so these tokens are now running on the Binance smart chain network on an Ethereum uh, address. You can now take those tokens and you can send them to another Ethereum address. So you can send them to your MetaMask address. So so that's the kind of the way of getting around it. Okay, it's a bit it's a bit odd that you have to that you are using um, two different um, wallets in 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 um, I'm sure at some point more uh, dApps on the Binance smart chain will just use this wallet and then you won't need MetaMask. Um, but even at that case, you you still need to kind of you, know, you still need to to um, get some way of of bridging the uh, the fact that MetaMask is designed for Ethereum. So so there is some complexity there, um, but it does take a bit of time. Um, to do it but once once it's done it's done so so it's not that difficult for people who, who are interested in dApps I wouldn't suggest of course that people who um, haven't got much experience do this sort of stuff because you are moving even very small amounts of, of value around but you need to be careful stuff can go wrong uh, but but this is the way that I at least um, have found out how to do it so I hope that's useful for people um, thanks for watching the video this is uh, dapp radar where we spend our time uh, interacting with dApps and trying to make sense of it all and sometimes it takes longer than others um, but I hope this uh, this is useful um, and thanks for watching and see you again soon